Okay people, so we're gonna go straight to the subject and after downloading and installing um, all the software that we need, best way to do it is to get into a game, in this case Cyberpunk 2077, run it in, in a window mode and see the changes that you're doing in real time. So as you can see, this is very pretty, I mean it's pretty straightforward. GPU name and you're gonna have your GPU name over there. You can change the color, you can change the font size. As you can see, it can be slow, bigger or, you know, change the color as well. Make it green, for example, because, you know, NVIDIA. So let's do it green. There you go. Um, and that's it. Show the label, uh, label or not. So everyone knows that NVIDIA is, you know, the GPU. So that's good next uh next thing try to group them like what do you want to show next so obviously if you have on top the gpu name you're gonna have this section is gonna be all about the the gpu so fps will be the the first thing that i would choose to show and then you can go gpu power gpu frequency and you can you see you have all these options here so you can Put whatever whatever you want and this one is interesting readout or graph so I'm kind of I think readout would be better because it takes just you know less space and you can if you want to do the you know the there you go, power average whatever color change the color of the thing it's it's very easy very straightforward and then you have gpu temperature like here again gpu temperature you want graph or readout gpu temperature go to the settings make it bigger average whatever whatever and that's how you use it i would have an advice though you need something um you need something else for this uh for this software to work and that's HW info I will put all the links from where to download this um, and HW in info looks like uh, looks like this I'll show you now so this is the HW info you'll have something like this and this little gadget kind of reads all the information from your computer like temperatures voltages and all that and all that and kind of communicates with this um, new Intel software and will tell you exactly what is what for example let's let's come back to this GPU power um, okay average readout again oh this one was done okay GPU power is done GPU temperature is done uh, I would keep them like a little bit lower because we have another section with the so there you go go back power presented FES temperature should change a little bit make it like smaller and then we have the CPU section uh, CPU name maybe a little bit bigger why well, if you do it like I don't know you do it, you can do it as big as you want but maybe we should change the color so ideally would be like a blue for the Intel but because we have a blue background I'm pretty sure you can change that background and just make it without without any background um, so Let's leave it like this for now, for now. So we have CPU name, CPU utilization, graph again. Just read out because it's uh, it's easier. But you see, CPU temperature, CPU power, CPU doesn't even. Oh no, it shows utilization. Yeah, but I was just I didn't see it. There you go, CPU utilization. Let's put for for the sake of the you know for the sake of separating everything just put red here there you go so we can distinguish uh, distinguish things 
and just make it slightly slightly bigger all right cpu utilization uh, so cpu nice CPU, cpu temperature i mean graph again readout is much better i think but i don't see it there you go cpu temperature unknown which is you know this this software is brand new so they still have to work on it there you go you can hide the label as well if you want uh, GPU busy and all that if you need like you can make whatever section uh, you like here add remove blah 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 and blah 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 so it's interesting but I feel like it needs a little bit more work because there are some things that are missing so remember you need HW info for this one to work I couldn't start it without so I don't know how it is for you guys but that's the info that I can give you so far probably I'm gonna work with it a little bit more and try to you know see other kind of settings that we can do but that's it for now and thank you for watching see you soon next one